today I am at Milkmaker headquarters. We are downtown New York City in Soho. So if you guys know me, you know that I am always doing my own makeup, usually on the go. However, when it comes to a big event, I always call in my pro, Ashley Glazer. She is the fashion master. She knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley and I have been working together since I first had my children, which is eight years ago. Ashley has done my makeup for the Oscars, the Golden Globes, Fashion Week, literally any big life moment, Ashley's been by my side. So if I do my own makeup, there's kind of like, it's natural, but I look a little bit maybe like mousy. But when Ashley does it, I feel powerful and sexy. One of my favorite things about Ashley is that she can do my makeup while I am doing 7,000 other things. I can literally be on phone calls, typing, reading notes, dealing with my kids, and she still manages to do it. I have no idea, but it works. A little puffy. Can we do the trick? We can do our trick. This is the before. An ice cube is literally your best friend. It instantly depuffs, feels incredible, and it boosts the circulation. You're gonna be in person and on carpet? In person, interviewing, and on camera. Okay. As a makeup artist, I always ask people, where are you going? What is the lighting going to be like? There's so many variables that could happen, so you really wanna make sure that you're applying the makeup properly for the environment you'll be in. So I'm gonna put your brows on first. I like to set everything up before Xana sits down so I'm not wasting time grabbing while, because we're usually like on such a time crunch. I'm just dusting a little bit of translucent powder so that way they stay on for your long day. My trick for doing eyebrows is I like to do them first before any skincare or anything goes on. The eyebrows job, like on your face, is to protect sweat and bacteria from getting into your eyes. So I like to put a little translucent powder on first, sort of brushing against the grain of your hair to fill in those gaps or where the sweat will be. So that way your eyebrow product will stay on and your brows will be on fleek all day. I think eyeliner is something that maybe as a teenager, people start wearing it. And a lot of women stick to how they did it when they were in their teens. And as you mature in life, your eyeliner needs to grow with you. It needs to get a little longer, it needs to get a little softer, and you can use more shades than just black to define your eyes. A great tip to get your eyeliner as close to the eye as possible is wiggling it in. Then you can use a brush to get as close as you can. So between the eyes and this pencil, I can look awake. Putting a brightening pencil on the inside of your eye is a major professional makeup artist trick that now a lot of people are catching on to. Look at the difference. Oh my. It's like a concealer for the inside of your eye. It brightens you up, it covers any redness, and it's an instant hack to looking more awake. Concealer is like the magic stretchable tool in your makeup kit. I like to use it to conceal any under eye circles, blemishes, but I also like to use it to sculpt. So I'll put a little bit above the brow, under the brow to define. I'll put a little bit on the side of the lips to sort of tighten the lip to give you a more defined line. And I like to use it sometimes just in place of a foundation in a pinch. If you have no idea where to put the blush on your face, a general rule is take two fingers, put them right next to your nose, and apply up and out. I think lip liner is huge. Everyone's wearing it, everyone should wear it. I think it gives you definition and it creates a shadow. And in order to keep it in place, if you don't have a long wearing pencil or you have a super long day, I like to use an eyeshadow primer to go around the outside of the lip. That keeps it in place. I'm gonna go get ready. You don't wanna forget about your body makeup. You spend all this time on your face being flawless and perfect. You always wanna make sure that your glow is going head to toe. You always need to consider everything that's showing. It's not just head on, it's not just facing one way. You are three dimensional and the rest of your body and makeup should reflect that. The key for me in doing any carpet is to feel confident and I only feel confident if my makeup looks good and you killed the makeup, Aww, so. Well, thank you. As always. Love you. I look good, I do good. And when you do good, everyone else is happy.